Ladies and gentlemen, a new snapshot is out for Minecraft Java Edition 1.17, The Caves and Cliffs Update Part 1. I've already made a gameplay update video that is linked in an iCard right here, that's my main update video for this version. This video is going to deal with all the technical changes, like changes to commands, data statistics, tags, advancements, resource packs and custom worlds. My name is Slice Slime, and without further ado, let's get into the changes in 21W16A, starting with commands. The error message for trying to give someone too many items with the give command didn't translate the item names that is fixed in this version, and the form of the teleport command that takes an entity as its second argument to teleport one entity to another didn't work as it did in previous versions, that is fixed in this version. A single data change of note in this version, the infested deep slate block now has a new block state, it has an axis property. Let's talk about statistics. The statistic for playtime has been renamed. It was previously called play one minute, but in fact it actually increased one every tick. It is now simply called playtime. There's also a new statistic, I mentioned this in my main gameplay video as well, it's called time with world open, and its ID is total underscore world underscore time. That keeps increasing even when the game is paused. Tag news in this version. The dirt block tag now by default contains three new entries, that is grass block, mycelium and moss block. The lush plants replaceable tag has been renamed to moss replaceable and now contains the base stone overworld tag, the cave vines tag and the dirt tag. Grass and mycelium has also been removed from bamboo plantable on and enderman holdable since those tags also include the dirt tag which now includes those blocks. A change for servers. In the previous snapshot, servers got a new prompt text that they can show when prompting for user preference about a resource pack. Users that have previously permanently declined a server resource pack will now still be shown that prompt if the pack is set to be mandatory. Previously the user would just be immediately disconnected. A change to a whole load of the advancement definition files Lots of the criteria for vanilla recipe unlock advancements have been changed. The individual criteria name inside of them have been renamed. They're all now called has underscore followed by the exact name of the item required. For resource pack, some things of note. The root vines head texture file has been removed, it was unused before. True type font glyphs didn't render properly, that bug has been fixed. And some bugs with shader compilation have been fixed, including that compilation was slow or even failed if you had many asterisks inside of a multi-line comment. Another bug has been fixed where shader includes would fail to compile correctly when there was no new line at the end of the file included. For our final section, let's talk about custom worlds. Let's start with the vanilla setup. The glow icon configured feature has been removed from all the vanilla ocean biomes. And the vanilla emerald ore configured feature now has a proper decorator setup. For former changes, let's start with carvers. They have new debug states. They have fields for water state, lava state and barrier state. And as with the air state, these are only active if the debug mode is turned on. The lava level has been decreased by one for all carvers to offset a usage in the code. The actual level in effect is still the same. And carvers have a new field called aquifers enabled. It is a boolean value and it is set to false in all of the vanilla carvers, including the prototype ones. The emerald ore feature has been renamed, it is now called replace single block. And there is a new field in noise settings, it is ore veins enabled. It's a boolean feature and of course it is only on in the preview data pack. And those are all the technical changes in this version, a little bit of a lighter update this week. Nonetheless, I hope you found it useful, and if you did, please help me out in return, leave a like, drop a comment, and share it with a friend. Anytime you interact with this video helps it out in the great race that is the YouTube algorithm, so I very much do appreciate it. I'd also like to thank some people who helped out in the making of this video. Thank you so much to Jockool, Vejuid, and Noinizer for your help. If you liked this video and you want to see more like it, then please subscribe to this channel. I make both gameplay and technical update videos for every new snapshot, pre-release, release candidate and of course full release of Minecraft Java Edition. And if you do so, remember to hit the bell icon and select all so you get notified when the videos are out. But that's all for this time, my name is Slime. thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.